Hello and welcome to the Chapter 6 podcast on Section 6.1. Today we're going to be discussing the, the wave nature of light. So if you remember um, earlier in the year when we did flame tests, you'll remember that each element uh, gave off a, a specific color of light. And we talked about how that light was related to the electrons that the, each element possessed. And so other scientists began to notice this long before we did and began to try and relate the properties of light to the electrons. So that's why we're talking about the nature of light while we're discussing what electrons are and, and that kind of thing. Uh, light is a form of what we call electromagnetic radiation. Uh, it, a light is part of what we call the electromagnetic radiation spectrum or EM spectrum and I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. Visible light is included in any form of radiant energy. What we find is that no matter what form of radiant energy we have, anything on the EM spectrum uh, will always have a speed uh, of light. So this is a constant we call C. You might remember that from E equals MC squared. And this is a velocity of 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Another part about another uh, important um, terminology related to waves is wavelength. And wavelength is shown with a lambda, and this is the distance between adjacent peaks. Frequency uh, is the number of complete wave cycles per second. And here you can kind of see, you know, the, the parts of a wave. And I know those of you who've had math already probably already know this as well. So we have wavelength, amplitude, and um, notice this is the difference in frequency. A wave cycle, by the way, is when a is when a wave one wave cycle is over when it begins to repeat itself. So that's why it says two wave cycles here. And you know you can count the wave cycles here as well and then over here as well. So this is the EM spectrum itself. So visible light is in the small part here that's expanded. Um, you'll notice that the uh, there's an inverse relationship between frequency and wavelength. We'll talk more about that in a minute. But notice our radio waves tend to have um, uh, big wavelengths and small uh, frequencies whereas and and notice that the other end we have really small wavelengths but huge frequencies and so each of these represent different parts of the EM spectrum um, radio waves you you know uh, when you listen to the radio uh, microwaves which includes microwave ovens as well as uh, microwaves that get sent to your smart and cell phones. Infrared is used for like, um, you know, uh, remote controls and things like that. UV light is something we protect ourselves from. You know, it's one of the harmful rays from the sun. X-rays are actually manufactured uh, with certain metals. You can energize them and they give off X-rays. And then gamma rays, which are also known as cosmic rays, are the are the far end of the scale here. Uh, in terms of EM waves, again, there's an inverse relationship between frequency and wavelength. So if you have a long wavelength, the frequency is lower, and so on. Uh, this is an equation you should get accustomed to. Frequency times wavelength equals the speed of light. This one we'll use quite a bit. Um, wavelengths usually are measured in meters or some form of meters. Some wavelengths are formed in, you know, using other metric units like nanometers or or centimeters and things like that. So be aware of that. And remember, C is in meters, so your, your your wavelength will have to match. Frequency is usually measured in hertz or seconds to the minus one. They're the same thing. Um, you might remember hertz from uh, the way phones, their frequencies, or um, if you look at processors on computers and things like that, they talk about them in terms of gigahertz and megahertz and things like that. And then over here, again is some common units used in wavelength uh, so these are all units that you've learned before and you should still be familiar with don't worry about the type of radiation I don't expect you to have that memorized um, so don't worry about that part um, if we're gonna pair, compare the wave nature of light you know if we if if I gave you these two waves which one is blue and which one would be red well the color spectrum you should remember. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the. Uh, we talked about Hofbrinkel for the diatomic elements. There's another one here for light called Roy G. Biv, where um, red is low and blue 
and violet have the have the um, shorter wavelengths. So based upon the wavelengths, and we're looking at the frequency, we can tell that red is probably the lower wave, and blue would be the upper wave because it has a shorter wavelength and a and a and a higher frequency. Whereas this one has a longer wavelength, and uh, you you get it right. Um, in terms of wave calculations, most of these are pretty basic. Uh, let's say we're talking about laser eye surgery and we're using lasers, uh, which has radiation that has a wavelength of, of 640 nanometers. Let's calculate the frequency. We'd use our wave equation in order to do this. C is a constant. Um, lambda, remember, is they give it to you in nanometers, but you need to convert it to meters for it to work with the equation. So this represents... Um, you know the number of meters in a nanometer so this is our conversion and once we have our our wavelength in meters and our speed of light we can go ahead and substitute and solve for uh, for frequency and you know, we get this is our number in terms of another example let's say we had to calculate the the wavelength instead and um, so here we go. Um, here we're given 103.4 megahertz. So this is the broadcasting station. Um, calculate the wavelength again. We're going to use our equation. C is constant again. We convert our megahertz into hertz. Remember, mega means a million, so 10 to the six seconds to the minus one and one megahertz. So we get our frequency. We saw for wavelength. This one's actually backwards but you'll get the right answer anyway. So this should be lambda and that should be V. Um, so we divide the speed of light by the frequency, not the wavelength, and then we get our, we get our, um, our, wavelength, our, our wavelength. Okay, and that is it for now.